Hi everyone, Simple Mom. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. And yes, if you guys see that I am a little shiny, I already worked out. Um, and I just needed it this morning. I just needed some me time before I come in and kind of like chit chat with you guys. So we're going to review two DVDs today. I definitely want to shout out Teach Me How to Style. Um, she is one of my subscribers and she's the one who have requested my DVD collection and yesterday I read that she wanted me to incorporate a workout that incorporate the stability ball. Now it was funny because when I read that last night I'm like ooh the stability ball it's been a minute since I've been on top of one. Um, the first time that I tried was a fail but it's been some time now so I went and I dabbled into the world the world of the stability ball um, and I remembered that I had you can do abs with Leslie and she uses the stability ball this is a great workout she has a core which includes your abs and then she has an upper um, body workout and it's like 30 minutes including both workouts um, highly recommend it I know it's under ten dollars on Amazon because this is an oldie for sure, um, but so so worth it, especially for those of us who are beginners for the stability ball and we kind of like need to learn how to position ourselves. She has a segment where she goes through um, the stability ball and all the moves that she expects you to do. So really, really, really good DVD. So I I kind of like wanted to sneak that one in there, and then my Sunday ritual is. You can do yoga with Leslie, whether you're an advanced, intermediate, or be or beginner's level. I recommend it. You can tweak the moves to suit yourself. I tell you, um, I didn't do it last Sunday or the Sunday before. Um, so I did it today. And to see how far my body has come as far as the stretching and... You know how you're able to like take these moves on and every time you do it you will see a difference hands down for sure so this is my Sunday I definitely want to thank everyone for the love and support the hashtag 120 day challenge group is doing amazing um, we're in this and that's it's an amazing feeling is day 21 and it says that it takes 21 days to create a habit or break one. So where are we at, ladies, right? I say we definitely have created a habit. It becomes part of you. Um, teach me how to style. She had an amazing comment where she says that she finds herself like buying stuff for her workout room opposed to her personally and yes this is what you do you fall in love with fitness especially when you see you know where your blood pressure you know is down and your sugar levels are down and you're able to run around with your kids you know and not be winded um when you fit in that chair comfortably um you know just just little things that make you say like wow yeah two weeks ago i went um, we had a carnival here in town and for the first time in my life I did the bumper cars and I was like yes let's go because I know I can fit in it you know it, and it's an amazing feeling to actually sit in those bumper cars and close the latch and be like yes I fit and my kids and their faces you know as we're like running around the track inside and I'm like how many years did I miss out you know on these special moments because i was too big you know and i didn't fit you know i always had the money thank god to you know provide for them and take them to carnivals but i was never healthy enough where i was able to be a part of it you know so this year to mark that's huge for me super 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 huge so i thought i kind of want to share that with you guys you know those non-scale victories that we have to sit here and kind of like hold on to because the skill doesn't define us. Life and what's going on around us does. So with that said, happy Sunday, day 21. Stay in it. We've come too far to go back. See you tomorrow. Nice job. While you're working abdominal area, it's so strong. 
You can bring the hands back here at any time you need to. Just one more. Wow. Tighten up the thigh muscles. Now I want you to simply lower and lift. If you need your balance, go ahead and put fingertips down. If you feel strong and in control, take the hands away and challenge the balance. There's four. Let's just do six more. The challenge, and that is simply to raise the upper body. There you go. And three hands can stay here. Very good. There's three. There's four. All muscles of the body are engaged. One's moving, one's stabilizing. There's just so much muscle activity going on. How about four more? Four. The sides, and you've got a more challenging back extension. And come up. Good. One more. Very good. And when you get your wow, does it help you to have a nice little speedy metabolism because those active muscles use a lot of calories. Every muscle engaged. And slowly, let's go right back. Knees on the floor, sit. Reach, 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 push the ball away, and you feel so long. Very nice, and bring it right back up. That was your step. You're asking the shoulder muscles to initiate the movement, but you're asking a lot of other muscles to be involved. So it's not just one muscle group. Sitting tall always with our center, our core working hard. You also have to assist the movement, so you've got always a lot of muscle. And again, slow controlled movements always when you're using weights. Tricep area. It's one of the best exercises. Four. And three. And follow the back. Come on, four more. Four. And three. Take breaks anytime you need it. Two for the trunk, the torso, the arms, the back. And hold it and bring it right back up. How'd you like that challenge? Good. The muscle and keep pulling it up. The longer, longer movements. And let's take it back to the center. And the other side. Standing tall. Very nice. Stork pose. Breathing. A little more advanced, exalted warrior. Bring the arms high. Looking up at your hands, reach and lengthen the torso. Long muscle in the back and advanced. Pose by straightening the leg, bringing the hand down the thigh, or holding the block and allowing it to give you that flexibility. As you become more flexible and strong, Straighten those legs, drop the chest, and you're doing downward dog. Again, place the blocks if you need them. Lifting the torso, lifting the chest. Now move it back to center. Bring a knee up. Hug it as tightly as you can. Rotate. And hold. Very good. You feel so strong, so long. Everything's stretched out and relaxed. It feels so good. And back up. Settles and relaxes. All muscle groups are relaxed from your feet to your calves to your thighs. Allow the muscle to just release all stress. Take that natural breathing. 